Hey y'all, if you want to know how I was able to save $5,000 for emergency purposes in just one year, stay tuned and I'm going to show you how you can do it too. In order for you guys to participate today, you have to go download this free resource because it is going to be your guide in saving $5,000 for the year. Go to the website and download it. Also, put it on your calendars. Next Sunday, I'm going to show you how to budget to find your lost money. Now, reporting live from every living room in America, from every phone tower to tower, Raquel Curtis giving you financial tips, emergency message right now. The fact of the matter is, right now, as it stands in the United States, 6.6 .6 million Americans are unemployed. And before the virus, on average, 71% of Americans did not have $1,000 or more within their bank account. So when we look at those numbers, it's telling us that 4,686,000 people have little to nothing in their accounts or they're living negative paycheck to negative paycheck. So watch this video. Let's learn to save. Let's remain disciplined. And if you're one of those people that are saying, Raquel, I would love to save, but I don't have any money to save. Next week, I'm posting a video that's going to show you how to find the lost money in the money that you're making by budgeting. It's going to be detailed. We're going to get to the nitty gritty. Turn your notifications on, don't forget to subscribe, and next week check back for the video budgeting to find your lost money and I'm going to show you how even though you think that you don't have it to save, you might just be surprised. Now, let's get into the good stuff. In order to save $5,000 in one year, I've created this binder that I call my budget buddy and it has assisted me in following a disciplined system in order to save that money in a year. So. I'm going to show you guys how to do the exact same. Mm-hmm, a hard head will make a soft bank account. I told you to go download this resource. Now go download it so we can get your savings together. All right, now let's get back to business. In order to reach $5,000 in your savings account on a bi-weekly basis, you would need to contribute $193 into your savings account. Now this paper right here allows you to put the actual amount that you invest into your savings account versus your planned amount. And then it has a checkpoint that allows you to add up the totals over a six month period of what you put towards your savings account and compare it to your planned amount. This way you're able to see, okay, am I beating my plan or do I need to be a little bit more disciplined in order to hit my target goal? Now, what I like about this is this is just for a one income earning household. If you have a two income earning household, that means that if you take $193 and you divide it by two persons, that means that every two weeks, only $96.50 will need to come from each party. Now, if you wanted to attack it on a more aggressive tone to hit that target in six months, all you would do is each party would contribute $193 every two weeks to the savings account. And in six months, you will have $5,000 in that savings. Hey, that's pretty good. Now, what I do suggest is that you guys find you a high yield savings account or a money market savings account to put that money into. because you wanna give yourself as much growing power as possible. Let's give a given date. We'll use my birthday, July 15th. And let's say on that day, I planned to put $193 into my savings account. So if you follow a cash envelope system, that means that when you get paid, you then take your check and you cash it out so that you're able to divvy up your money accordingly with it being tangible opposed to it just being a digital number. So let's say that on July 15th, which is my birthday, I was putting $193 into my savings. So then I will go in my wallet, I'll pull out 120, 40, 60, 80, 90, one, two, three. I take out $193 and I would set that aside into my savings and I'll record it. Now, let's say on another occasion, we're going two weeks from the 15th. So was that the 29th? 
give or take. Let's say on July 29th, I get paid again. But let's say on this occasion, because it was my birthday on the 15th, people were sending me, you know, money on Cash App. And they were like, yeah, girl, go turn up. And I decided instead that I was going to attribute this money to me reaching my $5,000 because I have plans when I hit this $5,000 mark. Always have a goal for your money. What would you do when you say yours? So then instead of me going out and turning up, with the extra money that was sent to me, I decided to attribute that money to savings as well. $279 that I'm going to be putting into my savings account. So you guys, in order to save that amount of money, you just have to follow a system. And if you'd like, I have resources available that are free for you to download on my website where you're able to download your own money tracker and track your savings to 5000 If you decide to download it, please let me know in the comments below, you guys. It would make me oh so happy. After you nab your free resources, head on over to the shop and grab yourself a mug or a crop top. Bye, guys. <laughs> If you're new to the channel, last week I posted three cheap stocks to invest in that has made me thousands and hopefully can make you some good money too. See you guys next Sunday. Don't forget to turn your notifications on. Make sure you subscribe and share with all your friends and family. The support has been amazing. I love you guys. Bye.